Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. Today I want to show you an all new Photoshop template that will instantly apply an uneven vintage style halftone pattern to your lettering, logos, and illustrations. This template is called the Halftone Automator and it includes 47 pre-built halftone patterns that will knock transparency through your designs so you can see the background color underneath. So here I've got the Halftone Automator file open in Photoshop and this is what you'll see. Make sure to open your layers panel if it isn't open. Just go to Window, Layers to open that. And to add in your own art, what you're gonna to wanna to do is double click on this smart object here at the top. And that opens a smart object and it's got the Halftone Automator logo in there. You can just turn off the visibility of that and then highlight this other layer that says paste your art here, hide other layers, and then save. So what we wanna do now is paste in our own art. So I have this Hawaii 77 graphic. It's isolated black on a transparent background. So we're just gonna select all, Command C to copy it, and then go back to that smart object and paste in our design. And just click save. And then we go back to the halftone automator and the halftone effect is already applied to our design. I'll show you a couple things with this. There is a layer called outline. So if I turn that off, it turns off that outline stroke. If you're using black art on a transparent background like this, it's best to keep that on. I just, I think it holds together your art. It looks really good. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to notice is there's a layer group called choose one image texture. So in here, there's 47 different pre-built halftone patterns. What you can do is scroll through these and just see which one looks best with your design. There's some chunky ones, there's some small ones, there's some sparse ones, there's dense ones. I like the look of this one, it's called medium gradient, so we'll stick with that. Let me show you one more thing. If you scroll down below all these textures, there's a background color. So if you wanna change the background color, let's just say we wanna change it to blue, you can do that there. But the way I like to work with these automator files is I actually turn off the background, go Command A to select all, and then go Command Shift C to copy merged. And then we can go back to our original Photoshop file that we had and hide the layer that's visible and just paste in our new art. Now you have that art isolated with a transparent background. Now let's go back to the Halftone Automator file and I wanna show you if you have colored artwork and you wanna work with just a colored artwork, you don't wanna change it to black, we can do that too. Let's go Command A, Command C to copy this and let's go back straight into that smart object. Let's hide that visible layer, go Command V and it pastes it back in there and I'll save that smart object. Let's go back in our Halftone Automator file. Now you'll notice there's a weird black stroke around all this colored artwork. That's not really something we want. So in the case of colored art, let's just turn off that outline and I'll put a black background in here so you can see how that looks. So it still has a great look without the outline. So it's up to you whether you want that visible or not. To find out more about Halftone Automator, check the links below the video. Thanks for watching.